God. Civilians don't belong in here. This is a PK outpost.
Just blow up the dam and flood the entire city. Ah. Ah. 
How you doing, buddy? You were right. I wanted to see what was making so much noise. And here I see some strange dude loitering around my place. Hey, hey, keep that ass in the chair. Don't Come on, tell me. We need to resolve this amicable thing. We can't let the situation become violent. Oh, yeah. Ader? Is that you? Hello, Pilgrim. This is my son. Oh, yeah, this is Aiden. I think we met when your dad was sick. Um, how's it going, Oya? Getting lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. He's having a hard time. A lot's changed for us. And what happened? You see, Patricia and I have separated. And once I've recovered, the first thing I wanted to do was get that motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, kid, cover your ears. You mean that motherfucking waltz? You've cursed like that a hundred times in front of me. Yeah, him. Uh, Patricia had asked me not to. But I wanted revenge on Wolves for killing my men, for killing Lucas, and him escaping punishment, you know? Well, did you get him? Nah. A few days after I was walking again, I started looking for him. And Patricia pleaded with me, but... When I returned home after a few days, I found it empty. Patricia had moved out and taken the boys with her. Most of their things were gone. All I found was a letter. Just a few words, really. <laughs> Apparently, while I was stationed in old Villador, Patricia had made contact with her ex-husband. I've no idea what she saw in a stuffy old teacher. He's only our teacher. Jeez, Dad. Oh, yeah. Look, I know you're only trying to protect your mother. Although, to be fair, they aren't living together. I don't know what's going on. Mum left because she was tired of it all. She'd had enough. Yeah, that's true. More than enough, I suppose. Uncertainty, fear for me. Wondering whether I'd come back alive. But now I've only got one goal. To get my family back. I know how you feel. Sometimes, in our rush toward our goals, we forget about the people around us. You've been running around, looking for someone this whole time, haven't you? Yes, my sister. Waltz may know something about her. I hope you don't lose yourself, like I have. Patricia won't talk to me. Or yeah, well, you can see for yourself. Only my youngest gives me the time of day. I'm teaching him how to handle weapons. But being with them, Makes me stronger. I won't take any more of your time. I wish you the best, Dater. Wait. Remember Lazarus? It's a solid weapon. And it's unlikely to be of any use to me anymore. I was supposed to kill Waltz with it. You do it for me. You can bet I will. Bye, Oyer. Get lost. Does your mother... You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the Commander. And my name's- I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the Renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you. Including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Oh, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. 
Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim, but you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. How you doing, buddy? <clears throat> damn renegades will stop nothing. One day they might just blow up the damn and the entire city. You know you want don't drink and shop now. Wow, that came just in time. Always good to have extra. No such thing as too much, right, honey? What the heck? Why not? Didn't know you had such great taste. If you're grabbing a drink, come back and see me. I hear Matt told the men to leave the island camp. Check things out. You just don't care about us. Some people snap that up mighty quick. Thank you. Great choice. Looking forward to your return visit. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man, but the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm, that'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack, so he'll be an even tougher audience for you. 
He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Good luck. My name is Ant. Well, honey bunch, haven't heard from me in a while, have you? Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Busy gardening? Man, you get lost in your own world. Made you easy to sneak up on bear hug. <laughs> Couldn't do that now, what with the bum leg and all. So listen, honey bunch. Had an idea to bring hope to people cut up.
Take this, please. Inhibitor container detected.
You there yet? Uh, not yet. I've reached the building, but... How did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. <clears throat> when you get there, stand on it, jump, and open your paraglider. Easy. That sounds sketchy. Name the last non-sketchy thing you've done running around this town. Touché. message is sponsored by the government and approved by the GRE. Do you want to beat the virus? Do you want to save humanity? It's simple. Have more sex. <laughs> this is the easiest and by far the most enjoyable way for mankind to survive. Have you done it five times this week already? Why not go for 15? Sex also has a positive effect on your overall health. It improves blood circulation along with your physical and mental abilities. We highly recommend the missionary position as well as the posterior knee elbow position. Gentlemen, improve the quality of your semen. Eat more spinach, broccoli, and eggs. For protein, insects are a must. Give birth to a beautiful new life. Let's make love and let's save humanity together. The one? There's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking.
took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 536 PM. Mr. Burkowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The Juan. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck.